it's a wet day today. I'm out in the woods and I'm gonna try to make a fire. So these are not the easiest conditions. So my plan is gonna be to grab as much birch bark as I can, try to find some dry twigs, baton some, uh, some dead wood to try to get some, to the heart, to some uh, dry stuff. So it's gonna be a challenge. So one resource that's essential to make a fire when it's wet is birch bark. So we're gonna grab a lot of it, all the birch bark we can find. Since it's kind of soaking, I'm gonna put it in my pocket, try to dry it off. That's gonna be essential to get the fire going. As you can see, the rain has changed for snow. It's wet snow, so the conditions can change quickly in autumn. So what we're gonna do is try to find the resources as soon as possible and get the fire going. So here we're collecting the small twigs, the bottom twigs of these trees. Unfortunately, they're not big trees, but it's the best we can get. At least they crack when we break them, so they must be somewhat dry. on some of this wood to try to get to the dry part and that should help to get the fire going. The interior is dry so that's good. The interior of that wood is dry, so that's going to help a lot. We're going to process it down a bit smaller to help with the fire starting. So I found a spot where some two dead logs are forming a V. 
I put a crossbar and some uh, little stuff in between. So that would probably help to make the fire so we don't make it on the wet ground. Plus, there's gonna be some air flow from under there. So that should help to get more air to the fire. So we have some twigs that we put under the stump there so it won't get so wet. We've got quite a lot of birch bark here. I've got some in my pocket that dried a bit. So I think with that we should be good to get the fire going and then maybe get some water boiling. All right, so we're gonna try to get the birch bark burning. So birch bark is so wet, it's not catching very fast. I still have a flame, let's see if that's gonna work out. Making a fire in these conditions is not easy. some more birch bark. is catching at least. Alright, so we're good there. Add some more here. As you can see, the conditions really deteriorated. We're getting a freezing rain, snow, pretty crappy weather. 
but the fire is working pretty good. So we added some more wood, really stick to it, and finally we got a self-sustaining fire after all that time. It took a long time, but now it's working out. So we're gonna be able to get some hot water, something to drink. So you can see we're losing light pretty fast. So it's getting dark, it's raining, but at least we got the fire going, so that's nice. So I'm happy I managed to get the fire going. It took a long time. I think the key here was that I was able to grab some birch bark early on, put it close to me so it dried and the dry birch bark that was was able to catch the spark and after that we piled on tons of wet birch bark that really helped to get the fire going without the birch bark i don't think it would have worked We're finally going to be able to get some hot chocolate going. Finally. Alright. Now we just have to wait. Yeah, so these are definitely pretty extreme conditions. We've got a lot of, a lot of rain and everything is soaked. Now we even got snow. But despite all that, it's nice to see that I was able to get the fire going. So let's say uh, I get lost in a condition like that. I, at least I know to get some fire, to make a shelter, so to survive the night. But I have to say that making a, a fire in these wet conditions is not as easy as you think. So it's a good thing to try it out for yourself and see what works and what doesn't work. We got some boiling water. Well, it was a tough, uh, it was a tough thing to do getting that fire going, but managed to do it finally. I think you really need to go stick with it, and it's gonna work out eventually. Cheers. So this type of weather here we got is probably uh, some of the most dangerous in the survival situation. I mean, first of all, we got the rain. So it can get cold quick. Plus, we're around zero degrees Celsius, a bit lower. So hypothermia is definitely a big risk here. So having this fire can change a lot. Now it's pretty much self-sustaining, so I can dunk anything on it, and it's it's gonna burn. So it's good to know that I was able to do that. Nice sight to have when it's cold and rainy up there.